Hello everybody, C. Ray Brower here with your perfect home. If you've been thinking about selling your home, you've probably been going through a few emotions. And I've got six ways that you can overcome those emotions while you are getting ready to sell your Stockton home. First, number one is confirm you're ready. Remember whether you're upsizing because the family's growing, you've got a new job, you want a bigger house, or you're downsizing because it's time to retire and kind of bring things together. Always keep in mind exactly what it is that you are selling your home for and that will help as you move forward. Next thing, step number two, would be to make sure and have your <clears throat> staging started early. You need to, to start that early because you need to depersonalize your house and make sure that it is ready for the new people coming in. Take your personal pictures down. That accent wall that you just absolutely love, think about changing that to maybe a more neutral color because whoever's coming in may not like that bright red that you like. By depersonalizing, it will also help take away part of that anxiety of remembering the memories in your house because memories are in your heart, not in the house, even though as you're taking things down, you start remembering those memories. The next thing is to concentrate on the future, the reason why you're moving and, and how much better it's going to be for you as you move forward with this new stage in your life. That smaller home, that bigger home, that new school district for the kids, the new city, whatever it is, just concentrate on the good things in the future. That will help relieve part of that anxiety and, and emotion of selling the house. Next, make sure and set a realistic price because the buyers coming in, they don't care about all the memories and, and all the things that you've done, the little upgrades that you've done for yourself. They care about the price of the house. Those memories go with you and make sure and set, work with your real estate agent and set a realistic price. Next thing would be during the showings and the open houses. If you have open houses, make sure and leave because sometimes the buyers are, are very critical about your house. And even though it feels like they're criticizing you, it's just their feelings about the house. And it's better to have the agent that is with them send that feedback back to you so that you have a better understanding of exactly what it is that you need to do maybe for the next showing. Just a couple little tweaks sometimes is all it takes to get that house sold. And last, don't take negotiations personally. Even though you've done everything to make the house beautiful and ready to sell, sometimes, all, almost all the time, there are some kind of negotiations that are done during that selling process. Now, I always try to make sure that we get rid of anything that they might want repaired or fixed before we ever get there or at least have all the inspections done so that we're handing them exactly what it is that has the house needs exactly what it is that we've done and that's where we're at with the house and that's why we priced it where it's at that will help take a lot of the anxiety out of that selling your house and helping you move forward to that new thing in your life because Buying, buying the new home, selling your home, it's always a very emotional time and it's a very stressful time. I hope those six tips have helped you realize some ways to get through that process. If there's anything in the world I can do for you, you can give me a call, 209-300-0311, or you can, call, you can comment below, send me a direct message, that all works also. You go out and be the sunshine in somebody's rainy day and never forget to see Ray to find your perfect home. You guys have a great day and we'll talk to you real soon. Thanks.